Good morning, folks, and welcome to the Foreign Press Center. Uh, it's our privilege today to welcome our colleagues from the Department of Commerce, Deputy Secretary of Commerce Bruce Andrews, and Deputy Assistant Secretary of Commerce for Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, Matthew Murray. They'll be talking with us today to preview the U.S.-Ukraine Business Forum, which is coming up next week here in Washington under the auspices of the Department of Commerce and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. We'll ask uh, Deputy Secretary uh, uh, Andrews to make some comments to start, and then we'll get to your questions. Great. Uh, well, first of all, thank you. And thank you to all of you for joining us here today. <clears throat> As you all know, on Monday, the Department of Commerce and the United States Chamber of Commerce will co-host the first ever U.S.-Ukraine Business Forum. We are pleased that Prime Minister Yatsenyuk is bringing such a robust delegation of senior leaders from across Ukraine's government with him. Their strong presence will significantly enhance the event's overall success. The United States believes in Ukraine's future and is now as a new pro-business, transparent, and dynamic economy in the heart of Europe. That is why, from President Obama to Vice President Biden to our entire cabinet, a strong, prosperous Ukraine is a top priority for this administration. At the Department of Commerce, <clears throat> we have a long-standing commitment to supporting and expanding strong economic relations between our two countries. For example, Secretary Pritzker met with President Poroshenko, Prime Minister Yatsenyuk, and other top government officials during a visit to Kyiv last year. This U.S.-Ukraine Business Forum aims to build on that visit. Recognizing that the American business community has an invaluable role to play in helping Ukraine build an independent, stable, and prosperous country, we have two goals for this forum. First, we want to highlight Ukraine's recent progress in improving its business climate. And second, we want to help make Ukraine an even more attractive location for American companies to do business. By bringing together leaders from the public and private sectors in both of our countries, we are providing the government of Ukraine with an opportunity to discuss its progress in developing and implementing pro-business reform measures directly with the United States business community. At the same time, American business leaders can make additional recommendations on additional steps that Ukraine can take to attract foreign investment and improve its business climate. This forum is part of an existing effort by our two governments to expand economic ties between our two nations. In the past year, the United States and our business community partners have held sector-specific dialogues with our Ukrainian counterparts on agribusiness, pharmaceutical, and energy issues. We have a full program plan to build on the success of those meetings. The day will begin with welcome remarks from Prime Minister Yatsenyuk, Secretary Pritzker, and Tom Donahue, the President of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. We will then host a broad introductory panel on doing business in Ukraine. The session will be open to the press, and I encourage all of you to attend. If you have not already RSVP'd, you should talk to Brittany Kaplan, who is here with us today. After the morning events, participants will break out into smaller sessions focused on agribusiness, knowledge economy, human capital, and entrepreneurship, energy, targeted strategies for financing projects and business growth. And in the afternoon, we will also hear from a very senior U.S. government official. Our hope is that the U.S., that the government of Ukraine and the U.S. business community will walk away from this forum with a better understanding of the current business climate of U in Ukraine and how to improve it. Ultimately, we believe that a lasting relationship of constructive discussion between the Ukrainian government mm -hmm. and our private sector shareholders and stakeholders is an important step to spurring more investment between our two countries. Now, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about the forum or this administration's engagement with Ukraine. I also have with me today Matthew Murray, our Deputy Assistant Secretary for Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Matthew is an expert on U.S. relations with Ukraine, so he can also help answering any of your in-depth questions. Thank you very much. I look forward to your questions. Okay, and with that, we'll take your questions. Um, please do identify yourself and your media outlet. Uh, for folks who are watching this over the internet live stream, you're also welcome to send in questions to FPC use, uh, owner, FPC O W N E R at state.gov. Uh, when you send a question, please identify yourself in your media outlet as well, as we are only accepting questions from 
uh, journalists. And with that, the first question is over here to Ruslan. Yes, Ruslan Petrichka, Voice of America, Ukrainian Service. Do you expect any deals to be reached in this forum? So getting deals out of this is actually not our primary goal. What our primary goal is is to create this discussion interaction because a, it's very important to give an opportunity for the Ukrainian government to highlight the significant process of progress that it has made in terms of improving the business climate. And then secondly, to give the U.S. stakeholders and companies an opportunity to talk about what it is that they also think, continue to see, that will help improve the business climate. So we've particularly and specifically not structured it to be an opportunity for deals, but what we hope to do is continue to follow up on this, not only with our team here in Washington, but also we have a foreign commercial service officer in the Kyiv who works closely every day with U.S. business stakeholders and also with the Ukrainian government. And so I think over the long term, you know, obviously we want to see this relationship to continue and grow and prosper in deals is one very important manifestation of that. Thank you. Question. Yeah, Paul, uh, Ukraine Forum News Agency. Uh, does the program of this forum include bilateral meeting in a high level between Prime Minister of Ukraine and other officials from the, the There will be a number of discussions. I can't uh, speak exactly to the Prime Minister's schedule, but what I, what I can tell you is there will be a number of engagements and, you know, we look at this as part of a continued, um, you know, dialogue that we're constantly having with the Ukraine government and the leadership of the Ukraine. Uh, Natalka Pisna, Studio One Plus One TV, Ukraine. What the main challenge uh, in relationships, especially in investing to Ukraine, uh, on your opinion, for the U.S. government? Sure. Well, it's less for the U.S. government. It really is for for U.S. companies. And what we look at is, frankly, there are a number of. Um, you know, sort of what I would call historical issues. Obviously, a large um, dominance of the Ukrainian economy by state-owned enterprises. Um, you have regulatory reforms that are needed to meet and to match up to international standards. Um, there has been a tradition of corruption that I know the government, that President Poroshenko, Prime Minister Yatsenyuk are very aggressively addressing, but needing to fix those issues and also to get Ukraine on par with international standards to facilitate trade uh, between both of our countries and, and with Europe as well. So I would say that there are, you know, there are a number of challenges. I know the government and we've met, um, you know, repeatedly with the prime minister, with the president, with the economic ministers, um, with the minister of the economy, with the finance minister. And I know they are very focused on looking at and addressing these challenges to continue to both attract investment and build the Ukrainian economy. One more question, if, you, if, sure, you, if I'm allowed. Uh, on your opinion, uh, what could attract the investors from U.S. in Ukraine now in these hard times for our country? Sure. Well, look, I think U.S. companies look and see a lot of potential in the Ukrainian market, right? You've got a number of very strong sectors that, um, that there are opportunities in. I think you've got a government that is very focused on improving the investment climate and rolling back some of the, you know, what I would kind of call historical um, issues that, that they know that they need to be addressed. So I think the, the American companies actually look and they also see a very well-educated, smart, you know, talented workforce. So there's a whole bunch of the, um, you know, components that will make for a successful market. And I think the government and the private sector stakeholders are working through to address those to make it that much more attractive for, for American investment. Thank you. You may, may I add something? Please. Here? Sure. Um, uh, these are very good questions, and I just wanted to add that one of the points of holding this forum is to assure that U.S. business, with its great tradition of high, high technology, state-of-the-art services, and best practices of business conduct, corporate governance and business ethics, are part of the solution to the reform challenges that the government of Ukraine faces. And that by committing themselves to be part of that process, they can accelerate the reforms, they can make them more real, help them get executed in, in real time, and lead to more transactions and deals in the near term. And so that's the that's the, the essence of the diplomacy that we're trying to pursue here. And business, U.S. business has been a great asset in that. And there are many champions of doing business in Ukraine 
who see a glass half full, who see this as a great uh, moment to uh, do some things with the regulatory um, structures that Bruce referred to and make them uh, work for, you know, in a, in a way that eases doing business. And I would also just add, I mean, I think American companies, they look, and when we look at it, we see important progress has been made and significant steps, but there's more to be done, and that's the importance of these dialogues to help focus on what it is that we need to continue to do to make Ukraine both more um, investment-friendly, but also, frankly, to make it more prosperous. Christina Shkudr, uh, Ukrainian channel, Ukraine. I have a question. Uh, you know that the Ukrainian economy is now in very hard conditions. Right. And uh, more frequently in Ukraine, uh, experts are talking about default and that we have the destiny of Greece. So, uh, in these hard conditions, do you think that investments from America could uh, somehow, somehow influence the situation? And in your point of view, what could we do to uh, renew the situation in a good way for us and for... Sure. And that is what we're very focused on, which is how can investment and business dealings between United States companies help create a more prosperous and frankly, a, a you know a, a successful Ukraine in the future, and that's why we're here because we want to see the United States government. <clears throat> it is a very high priority to see a prosperous and successful Ukraine, and so this is an additional step in how do we make sure that future is bright? Because I think a lot of people look at the potential of the Ukraine and the future opportunities and <clears throat> see the potential that is there and we need to take these steps to make that full potential be able to be realized but i think there is you know there is a real opportunity here and i think you look at some of the other economies in the region and how they've been able to take you know from similar circumstances and create thriving economies and we see that say see that same possibility and potential in ukraine and if I may just add to this, that one of the, as, as the Deputy Secretary has indicated, one of, this is one of the purposes of this forum on, on Monday. And we have actually designed one of the sessions, it's, as, as the Deputy Secretary mentioned, it's targeted approaches to financing business growth. And we, in that session, we hope to bring together public and private finance leaders, including, for example, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, uh, a U.S. agency called OPIC, which have committed uh, millions of dollars already to Ukraine and investing in Ukraine and are, are mandated under their charters to do public finance in difficult situations and to match what they're doing with creative approaches from the private sector. And we will have many um, hedge funds and, and uh, uh, private capital, private equity groups represented at the forum to discuss the models for creating a virtuous cycle of, of good investment, good money chasing good deals. And I would add to that, the, the significant interest we have seen from the U.S. business community and from, um, you know, financial firms in terms of this uh, forum really has given us, you know, great, uh, I think it reflects the potential and the opportunities and the potential future of the Ukraine. Yaro Bihun, the Ukrainian Weekly. Uh, what kind of an effect do you see uh, on this development, uh, the things that happened in, with the EU and Greece over the past few weeks. I think you've got to really separate the two out. I think you've, you've got to tr treat each country as its own unique because the circumstances are actually very different. Um, so I don't think, you know, I, I think we look at Ukraine in and of itself, and as I mentioned before, really seeing the potential that's there and frankly seeing the progress that's being made. I think the Ukrainian government, you know, under President Poroshenko and Prime Minister Yatsin, the UK's leadership, has taken a number of really important and frankly not always easy steps um, in terms of reforms in the economy, fighting corruption, taking efforts that um, will help Ukraine to be successful in the future. So I think you really have to separate that from what's going on in Greece, because I think they're two very different situations. Ruslan, you have another yeah. question. Uh, Voice of America, Ruslan Petrychka. You said that this is like a top priority for I mean, Obama administration to, to work with Ukraine. It sounds like you have a specific plan that you are realizing, and you require some actions from Ukrainian side. 
could you speak on that? What what are what is this plan? Sure. Well, look, I think the most valuable thing the United States can do is to help create an economically prosperous Ukraine. And one of the things that we've seen the world over is U.S. companies coming into markets and doing business, and frankly, you know, creating a friendly investment climate and a friendly business climate brings industry, it brings jobs, it brings companies, it brings investments, it gets people into those markets and creates a long-term sustainable <laughs> prosperity. And I think we see this as an important step in, and the reforms is an important step towards getting to that point and building a strong and prosperous Ukrainian economy. And so I, if I may, as the Deputy Secretary has indicated, our main ask is that the government of Ukraine, while it's focusing on the macro issues, the liquidity issues, the, the stabilization of the currency, it also devote uh, political will to the micro reform issues in each of the sectors that are high growth potential sectors. And so in other words, our main ask is that they work on creating an economy that is based on, uh, led by the private sector and based on a rule of law. And towards that goal, we have already met with success with, with, in our work with the government of Ukraine. Uh, as the Deputy Secretary mentioned, we formed three informal dialogues, one in the agribusiness sector, one in the pharmaceutical sector, and one in the energy sector. <coughs> which are devoted to the notion that um, as these reforms are developed by the government, uh, business should add its know-how, its expertise, business should champion these reforms, and U.S. business can play a particularly important role. And we've, we've seen signs of these, uh, you know, as a result, the government is at the table, and U.S. business is saying this is a new and very important development, that they have more access to the government of Ukraine than maybe in the last 10 or 15 years. That in itself is important. And that in, in, on top of that, the government is listening and they are saying, okay, yes, we'll remove that regulation. We'll remove a, a, a regulation that requires, um, you know, certifying grain that's being moved from one point within Ukraine to another point within Ukraine because it doesn't add to safety and it was just a source of corruption. So they've done that, and there are several examples like that. And so this is an, a dynamic process which they, we think will fuel private sector growth and help the government of Ukraine uh, develop from the bottom up a, a solution to their economic growth challenges. So just to follow up on that, on a scale from 1 to 10, how are you satisfied with the uh, things that the Ukrainian government is doing, has been doing so far in this Regards. I think it's very hard to, to quantify in that regard. Um, <clears throat> but what I can tell you is they have been a good partner, and I think they have listened in the discussions we've had. And I think they've been very open, and frankly, I think we've seen them. And as Matthew yeah. said, you know, they've made some important steps. And, you know, look, we, this isn't easy. This is really hard stuff. And to the extent that I think they recognize the difficult and challenging steps, and they are working to take those steps and make the changes that will be necessary for the future, I think they deserve a, a great deal of credit for that. I have a question. Uh, if you could advise Ukrainian officials, I believe you could. Uh, what do, what could, be, could be an advice on the issue of improving the business climate in Ukraine? So there are a whole bunch of specific things we've had discussions. There are um, regulations, there's anti-corruption, there's getting rid of regulations that don't make any sense or might have been you know, useful 20, 30 years ago but are not useful now. Um, there are working on standards issues so that um, internationally recognized standards um, are applied rather than unique standards. And there's a whole bunch, there's a whole series of things that I think they can do that will make it more attractive for investment and frankly make it easier for companies doing business there to be successful. I don't know, Matthew, yeah. if you want Well, to let me give on. you an example. Um, as, as the Deputy Secretary indicated, um, we want them to adopt standards that expedite goods to market and don't add to the regulatory burden of companies, especially small business. And they've already adopted one in the pharmaceutical sector as a result of our dialogue. They have basically acknowledged that if a product is already registered as sellable in the EU, Ukraine, an, an American pharmaceutical product is already registered in the EU, it can be accepted in Ukraine without an extra layer of regulatory uh, approval. So this is happening. 
<clears throat> and I think to give just a little more granularity, the tax, there are changes that could be made in the tax system to make it easier. Um, adopting the WTO's government procurement agreement, I think, would also be helpful in terms of standardizing the procurement and giving, um, you know, having more clear rules that are internationally recognized. Do we have any other questions? One more, on if I may. Uh, there were news. There was news recently about the uh, some regulations has have been lifted uh, uh, in trade between Ukraine and U.S. So Ukraine companies could could uh, Ukrainian company could export more goods to U.S. What's what's uh, what 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 is happening now in trade between two countries to facilitate uh, trade? Could you be a little bit clear on which whether you're talking about goods that are being exported from the U.S. into Ukraine? Both. Or both. I, I, the news yeah. was about the goods that were <coughs> exported from Ukraine to to U.S. Yes. Yeah. And like vice versa. So we will see more cooperation in trade between Ukraine well, I, and American companies. I think we've seen a lot already, it, and and we've seen, as I mentioned, this this example of of approving uh, of allowing EU standards to be sufficient to approve goods coming into uh, pharma goods coming into Ukraine. There's another example in the agribusiness sector, which is a very important foundational part of your economy and is actually showing positive growth at this point. And um, to help get U.S. technology and services into the market um, the and goods into the market, uh, Ukraine has agreed to uh, expedite the process of approval of phytosanitary certificates. It used to take three or four weeks, now it takes 24 hours. And so this is, one, this is a very concrete example of something that, that will help move goods uh, from the U.S. to Ukraine more quickly. Uh, coming this way, yes, we are very much uh, in, interested in doing what we can to increase Ukraine's export base. Uh, and make it uh, make it more possible for them to to uh, export to the United States and other markets. So we have the the Department of Commerce has dedicated a group of experts on WTO compliance that are now working with the government of Ukraine to make sure that they're uh, not only complying with uh, the WTO but using all the levers uh, that they can to make sure that. Uh, they, they are using trade remedies properly under the laws and regulations, and they're able to trade not only with the U.S., but regionally. If there are no more questions, then we will go ahead and wrap up our briefing this morning. Uh, thanks to the Deputy Secretary and the Deputy Assistant Secretary for joining us. Thank you. And thank you all as well. Uh, that's the end, and we are now off the record. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.